what have you. But hey, this time on SmackDown, we got four rivalry matches. Kieran and Harper still going at it. Goldberg. Got Ricochet and uh, Shulton Benjamin here. No entrance, of course. One half of the tag team champions, Ricochet, going up against Shelton Benjamin, who is much larger than him. Knee to the gut. Now Shelton fighting back. Oh! Uh, Ricochet fighting back. Trying to get one over on Shelton. Two missed kicks. A nice DET there by Ricochet. Pops himself back up. Went for some sort of cutter move there. And oh! Went for a discus elbow. Got hit by a knee. Nice clothesline there by Shulton. I made, uh, by the way, I made Ricochet's speed, his movement speed, at 100. Because Ricochet should be at 100 movement speed. Like one of the fastest wrestlers out there. Strike speed and everything else is the same, but and now you say she being Brian to the corner, but oh, stop Shulton. And honestly, didn't even boost his overall at all. He went from 85 to 100 and didn't move his uh, overall stats at all. So overall stats went from 85 to 85. Punches to the face by Shelton Benjamin. Oh, Ricochet rolls out of the corner. Oh, Shelton Benjamin stops him from whatever he was about to do there. Shelton re representing the Hurt Business. And uh, Ricochet won half the Tag Team Champions, Goats and Only, with uh, Daniel Bryan, who also wears matching gear as him by default. Uh... It's funny how that worked out <laughs> with it, them and Oni and Edge. A nice suplex there by Shelton Benjamin. Calling the face of Ricochet. Oh, and a nice bicycle kick by, by Shelton, uh, Ricochet, not Shelton Benjamin. Went for a kick to the chest. Reversed. Oh, and now kick to the back by Shelton. Shelton looks like he's going to win this easily. Ricochet struggling here. Oh, nice elbow to the face. This is where Ricochet. Oh, grabs his head. Takes him down with a head scissors. Oh, an arm drag by Shelton. Big suplex neckbreaker by Shelton there. Celebrating his moves. Now what's Shelton going to do? He does nothing. Wins for a punch. But oh, Ricochet jumps over it. But gets caught by a suplex. Goes for the pen. One, two, kick out by Ricochet. Ricochet needs to get up quickly. But no, it's dropped down by the DDT by Shelton Benjamin. Nice suplex there. Super kick by Shelton. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, pay dirt. And it's over. Two, three by Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin gets the easy victory over Ricochet.
Michelin looks like he's not done. Going on the attack on Ricochet, one half of the tag team champions. Stomping on him. Her business came to do business. They're doing a whole lot of business there on Ricochet. Sweat disappearing and appearing on his body. <laughs> As he does. By the way, excuse me for that burp. Now we got the man from Cobb County, Georgia versus Eric Young. Oh, but Eric Young is attacked by X-Pac. I believe they had a count out in their last match together. Damn, I've never seen this uh, cutscene. X-Pac just choking and punching the shit out of Eric Young. Bossman already in the ring. Slows back into the ring. Rolls out of the ring. Now they're racing each other into the ring. And now the match starts. Eric Young seemingly good enough to, to compete in this match. And oh, kicks to the side of the leg. And here we go. Bossman. It's Eric Young in the corner. Oh! But Eric Young trying to fight back with everything he's got. A nice decapitator there by Eric Young. Kicks to the gut. Oh! And a running neckbreaker. Eric Young trying to fire up, trying to get the adrenaline pumping. Trying to get the crowd on his side, too. I think he's the only member of uh, Sanity that's actually in the game. Because I think Killian Dane and Alexander Wolf is out. Other than, uh, actually, Nikki Cross is in the game. But I find it funny. He's the only one that's not with the company anymore. Big ol' punch to the back of the ch head. Close line over the top rope. This is the one thing that I find kind of annoying with uh with sanity or not sanity um well yeah sanity and like retribution is sanity couldn't have Nikki Cross with them because I guess they didn't want a female wrestler being with uh, the males. But like retribution because it's a McMahon uh, idea. It's like it's okay. I just hope Triple H uh, takes over the company at some point because, like, Vince is just doesn't have it anymore. Oh, punch over the guardrail. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't even see the count or hear the count. Both men back into the ring. No count out victories here. I should actually turn count outs off. But I'm a little too lazy for that. Oh, big punch to the gut. Shot by the boss man. Another shot by the boss man. Elbow to the gut by Eric Young. Just make every match a false count. Everywhere match two, I should do that. <laughs> but then, then there's no DQs though, so there's that. Big DDT by Eric Young, trying to fight his way back. Who knows if he's succeeding in that endeavor? Calling out the face of Boss Man. Oh, big punch by Boss Man. Jawbreaker by Eric Young. Nope. Eric Young just tossed to the side by Boss Man like he's nothing. 
Double leg takedown. Lifting double leg takedown, I should say. Lifting him up from, from his legs, slamming him down onto his back. Head. Why the fuck am I yawning so much? This is the same, by the way, if you're watching us on YouTube, it's the same day as the Raw one. And yeah, I'm yawning like crazy still. Kicks to the back. Kicks him up by his shoulders, then a big wind up. Uppercut. And Boss Man really feeling it. Asking uh, Eric Young, has he ever been took a trip to Cobb County, Georgia? Alright boys, let's get back in the ring. One spot outside is enough. I won't go uh, exit the ring now. Bossman going top rope for some reason. I did not do that, by the way. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Kicks it the gut by Eric Young. Goes for the neck breaker. Hits it. Now Young tossing him against the ropes. Oh, boss man. With his big weight takes down Eric Young. Oh, a nice leaping DDT by Eric Young. Takes down the boss man. Where's Eric Young going? Top rope. Oh, misses his big elbow. Says go for punch to the face instead. Stiff strikes to the boss man. And now, elbows to the shoulders. Kicks to the gut. DDT. Eric Young's not finished yet, though. More. Elbows to the shoulders of the boss man. Oh, and a kick to the back. Eric Young taking a sweet time here. Don't know what is going on. Oh, big chop. Boss man no sells it. Oh, kicks to the gut though. He sells that. DDT. I think sometimes the AI is confused on how to hit the finisher. Oh, reverse for the boss man. Chops the big man down. Like, see, he keeps picking him up for some reason. Kick to the gut. Punch to the back of the head. Boss man rolling out. what Eric Young's trying to do here. More damage to the head, it seems. Go for your finisher, man. Like, see, he keeps on doing that. Hold on, I want to see something. I'm just going to kick him in the back. This is where his finisher is, right? Let me see if I take off. He'll do his finisher. He is. He was trying to do his finisher the whole time. He didn't know how to do it. Oh! Hits his wheelbarrow neckbreaker. One, two, three. Eric Young wins with an assist for me. Sorry if you didn't like that, but uh, it was just annoying. I kept, he kept on setting him up for some reason. I'm like, okay, what are you doing? Like, he just was trying to go for his finish, and like for some reason he thought, okay, this is how I do it. The AI in this game is terrible. Here is your winner, Eric Young! 
Eric Young, despite the beatdown before the match, wins the match. Now let's move on to our next match, our next contest here. Tony Nese versus Goldberg. Remember, Jinder Mahal attacked Goldberg from behind last week, and uh, didn't go well for him. Goldberg still squashed him like a bug. Now it's Tony Nese and Goldberg. Can Nice have a different result? Doesn't look like it. As Goldberg starts out with a big fall away. Missed on the punch. Oh, a big solid strike. And a scoop slam by Tony Nice. Cranking the head of Goldberg. Nope, went for a big kick. Clothesline misses. Nice move there by Tony Nice. Goes for a quick pin, tries to get tries to Goldberg. The Goldberg. The Goldberg kicks out. A big old stiff strike. Oh, is he gonna Bret Hart him? Oh no, he doesn't. But big old close line by Goldberg. Kick to the back. So we've got now Pomp Handle. Drop. Now Goldberg taking it to Tony Nice. This might be the folly of Nice. Oh, a big old punch to the face. Really should have been a squash match, honestly. Oh, Goldberg has him up on his shoulders. Oh, drops him down on the turnbuckle. And now another fall away slam. Goldberg just decimating here. And oh, Tony's fighting back though. Went for a big clothesline. Doesn't even phase Goldberg. Barely has him stumbling. And yeah, nice. Snake eyes there by Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg. Tripping him up. Going for a leg lock here. Tony gets out of it though. Goes for a pin. One. Kick out by Tony Nice. Misses the kick there. Jawbreaker. Oh, up on the shoulders. Hurricane Rana. Nice moves here by Nice. Now, nice snap air takedown. Kicks to the back of Goldberg. A very competitive match here against Goldberg is Tony Nice doing way better than Jinder Mahal so far. That's the blitz there, Tony Nice. Leg drop. Again with another backbreaker. Sidewalk slam backbreaker style going for a pin. Goldberg says no. Oh, Goldberg's up and he's angry. He's got Tony Nice up. Oh, hot shot up against the ropes. And what's Goldberg thinking here? Is Tony Nice next? Oh, a big old spear by Goldberg. This could be it. Usually goes for the jackhammer next. But now nah, he's thinking pin. Get it over with now. One. Two. No, T Nice gets up. Nice is up. Oh, okay, so we've got Goldberg. Nice body scissors into another leg lock. Nice getting out with ease again. Go 
Goldberg Furious. Oh. That could uh, spell disaster for Nice there. Nope. A big, big Oklahoma slam there by uh, Goldberg. Now he's going for it. Nice, it's over. Jackhammer. One, two, three. Nice loses. But a nice effort by Tony Nice as Goldberg has a 2 0 winning streak here as the Intercontinental Champion. And there's Jinder Mahal up at the top of the stage. Did he not have enough already? Uh-oh. Jinder and Goldberg staring each other down. Modern day Maharaja. Having, oh, but Goldberg goes for the fight. And now it's Goldberg and Jinder trading blows at the top of the ramp Jinder goes back one referee is all it takes to hold back Goldberg must have been trained by Chris Jericho now we have it our main event Akira Tozawa versus Harper again Akira already in the ring Harper's asking him to come out here. Here slides out. Oh, Harper spearing him into the apron. Oh, but Kira fights back. Starting this match outside the ring. Both men slide into the ring. Make sure do that. Oh, Akira misses whatever that was supposed to be. Oh, referee knocked down. Kira with a big lariat to the back of the head. Has the leg scissors along the head, but Luke Harper gets out of it. Big old swinging neckbreaker. Big pump handle suplex there by Luke Harper. I refuse to just call him Harper. His name is Luke Harper. Stupid game. Well, stupid WWE. I hate how WWE just gets rid of people's uh, first names. Or last names. I think the only one that I can agree with is Antonio Cesaro. And the only one I like saying Antonio Cesaro. Like, just calling him Cesaro is cool enough. Like uh, changing Raymond Rowe and uh, I forgot what the other one's called. But changing their names to Ivar and Eric. That, that was just lame. Oh, double knees to the back. Big old chop by Akira. Oh, but. A uppercut by Harper. What was another dumb one? I didn't like that they changed Adrian Neville to just Neville. Um, I'm trying to think of more. Oh, changing Apollo Cruz to just Apollo. And the reason for it's dumb because like Cruz is the same last name as the like a kid from a shooting, and I'm like, okay, but is his name literally Apollo Cruz? No, Cruz is a very common last name. Like you'll probably find more bastards named Cruz out there. But I don't think that one stuck. Uh, Big E Langston taking out the Langston. I think that was fine. Just calling him Big E. Kira actually sliding to the ring. Actually being smart. Unlike the uh, mostly in this game. Just 
trying to think who else lost their name, and I just really couldn't stand it. Didn't they change the draw to Cien Almas to just Cien Almas? Or did they just change it to Andrade? I hope they don't do that to Garza. I hope they don't just call him, start calling him Garza. Because his name is cool together. Angel Garza. Oh, a big kick by, uh, by Harper. Luke Harper. Oh man, I'm like struggling to remember other names that were just cut. Cut short. Big headbutt to Tazawa. And now Harper's got him up. Plants him down. That's it. It's over. Akira has no hope here. Goes for the pin. I thought Akira had no hope. But oh, now he has no hope. Oh, a big exalted lariat. One, two, three. And your winner, Luke Harper. Both our champions on a bit of a streak here. But Luke Harper actually fighting the same man twice in one week. Got me facing him at uh, Money in the Bank, too. Is that like this week on the calendar? I think Money in the Bank will have to do tomorrow. Here is your winner, Harper! Taking his shot. Boom. WWE Champion Luke Harper winning again. And that'll be it for SmackDown. Hope you guys enjoyed.